you push yourself enough so that you can do everything you want to do and you just your study time shrinks and you figure out how to do things better and I think that's what the whole learning process is about. It sounds corny but I like to think I'm just enthusiastic about life. Um, no matter what comes my way, you know, I just deal with it and make the best of it I can because to me, whether I'm rock climbing or just living life or doing a test, everything's a puzzle. I like puzzles and I enjoy doing them. Okay, take in as much slack as you can. You get to the point as you go up on a difficult climb where you're really pushing your level and your limits, you get to a point sometimes when you're just barely holding on and you know that you're gonna fall and you could possibly go for the next hold and try just with all your effort and maybe stick it or you can just sit there. But if you sit there, eventually you're gonna fall. And I think it translates into life really well. It's just about letting go of the fear because if you can let go of fear, fear heights, then every other fear just will also go. It's like once you lose one fear, the others tend to fall much easier. The people who use knowledge, who create change, who have an influence and an impact aren't necessarily the most academically gifted, but they're the ones who are social, they're the ones who are aware of the community around them, they're involved, and I think very often an intelligent person will rise as a leader and I think it's their responsibility not only to apply their own skills and to set an example for others, but also to be willing to push those around them.